great first day. Uh, as they say, poly poly, which I think translates go very slow or pole after pole. About 11 kilometers, um, not too steep, but very, very muddy. Got to the first base camp, a lot more climbing to do. So great first start and enjoying the experience. Day two, so quite a long day and uh, I think we climbed about a thousand meters overall. But so far, so good. Just arrived base camp, day three, and God, that was tough. Super strong winds pushing you sideways all the time, and so hot and endless. It just kept on going on and on and on. Anyway, we've arrived, and we have something to eat, and then at midnight, we then set off again to ascend Kilimanjaro, which is somewhere behind me in the background with the clouds, we can't quite see it. There's nothing like walking the southwest coast path in Devon. It is much, much harder. Um, it is extreme, so, uh, but hopefully worth it in the end. I'll give it my best shot. Day four, that's the toughest thing I've ever done. 24 kilometers I've done before, but not vertical, almost vertical. We got to the top, which brill, fantastic. We got to the top and the shortage of breath, I think it's 60% less oxygen or 50%, something like that. Then the, the enormous walk back down, which seemed to go on and on. Main thing is we made it. We got to the top, which I'm delighted about. And uh, I don't want to do that again soon because that was really, really hard. Um, but what an achievement. Day five, just back from walking down the mountain. Worthwhile, clearly. Climbing Kilimanjaro for Rowcroft. Biggest challenge I've ever faced. Um, so an amazing feat to accomplish, given the sickness and challenges en route. What a phenomenal experience, once in a lifetime, and delighted that I've done it. And thank you again, everybody, for their support.